All right, if you've been rocking the MX Master 3 for a while, you're probably wondering, is the brand new MX Master 4 really worth the upgrade? Logitech claims it's a productivity revolution with new haptics and smarter features, but the MX Master 3 is already a favorite for designers, coders, and multitaskers. So today, let's put them side by side and see what's actually different, what's improved, and whether the upgrade makes sense for you. First things first, design. Both of these mice are instantly recognizable as part of the MX Master family. They've got that ergonomic, sculpted shape that's built for right-handed use with a thumb rest, a chunky palm grip, and that premium, productivity-focused vibe. The MX Master 3 leans into a soft, rubberized side texture. It feels really grippy in the hand, which makes long sessions comfortable. It has that slightly matte finish, and the scroll wheel is made of machine steel, which feels premium. The MX Master 4, on the other hand, tweaks the formula. Logitech changed the surface materials, making them more stain resistant and durable. This means they won't collect fingerprints or get that sticky rubber issue older Logitech mice sometimes develop over time. The trade off they don't feel quite as soft or grippy as the MX Master 3's rubber coating. Another difference you'll notice is the weight. The MX Master 4 is slightly heavier. For most users, this won't be a deal breaker, but if you're used to the MX Master 3's lighter balance, you'll feel the difference. Over long hours of use, especially if you move the mouse a lot, the MX Master 3 might feel a bit less fatiguing. So in short, MX Master 3 is grippier and lighter, while MX Master 4 is sleeker, more durable, but a touch heavier. This is where Logitech shines, and both mice deliver. They share the legendary MagSpeed electromagnetic scroll wheel, which is one of the best scroll wheels ever made. It's insanely smooth. You can whip through a thousand lines in a second or stop precisely at a single pixel. Both mice have this feature, so you're not losing anything if you stick with the MX Master 3. You also get the side thumb wheel on both models, which is fantastic for horizontal scrolling in spreadsheets, video timelines, or even zooming in creative apps. On top of that, there are the usual forward and back buttons, and of course, customization through Logitech software. But here's where the MX Master 4 really sets itself apart. The haptic thumb panel. Logitech replaced the old gesture button with a new panel that gives you tactile feedback when pressed. This ties directly into the brand new actions ring feature. Think of it like a radial shortcut menu you can summon at your thumb. You can assign different functions, app-specific shortcuts, or commands, and when you activate them, you get that satisfying vibration feedback so you know it registered. This is something the MX Master 3 simply doesn't have. And honestly, it's a productivity game changer if you like having a ton of shortcuts right under your thumb. Imagine switching brush sizes in Photoshop, navigating layers in Premiere, or hopping between desktops with haptic confirmation. It feels futuristic, and it's one of the biggest reasons to consider the MX Master 4. Now let's talk sensors. The MX Master 3 comes with a dark field sensor that goes up to 4000 dpi. That's already plenty for most users, and the beauty of it is it can track on almost any surface, even glass as thin as 4 millimeters. The MX Master 4 doubles that sensitivity, going up to 8000 dpi. If you're on ultra high resolution displays, think 4K, 5K, or even multi-monitor setups, that extra DPI makes cursor movement smoother and more efficient. For everyday office work, you might not notice a huge leap, but for designers and power users, it's definitely an upgrade. Connection stability also gets an improvement on the MX Master 4. Logitech introduced a new wireless chip and a stronger antenna system, plus a USB-C bolt receiver for rock solid connections, that means fewer dropouts, especially in Bluetooth crowded environments like offices. The MX Master 3 is still reliable, but if you've ever had Bluetooth hiccups, the MX Master 4 addresses that more directly. Clicks might seem like a small detail, but if you work in a quiet office or you're constantly in meetings, they matter. The MX Master 3 already reduced noise compared to older MX mice, but the MX Master 4 takes it further. Logitech claims up to 90% less noise compared to the original MX Master, and when you click side by side, you can definitely tell. The MX Master 4's clicks are softer, quieter, and just feel more refined. Now, when it comes to battery, both mice are champs. The MX Master 3 gives you up to 70 days of use on a single charge, and the MX Master 4 matches that. Both feature quick charging, where a one-minute charge gives you around three hours of use. Both use USB-C for charging. 
So really no winner here. Both deliver excellent longevity. If you're upgrading purely for battery reasons, you won't see a change. Both mice rely on Logitech's Logi Options Plus software. This is where you unlock their full potential. Custom button mapping, app-specific profiles, and with the MX Master 4, that new Actions Ring interface. With the MX Master 3, you can still set up app-specific controls, like making the thumb wheel scroll through layers in Photoshop or zoom in Excel, but the MX Master 4's integration with haptics makes it feel more interactive. That physical vibration feedback makes shortcuts more reliable, and it helps you work faster without second-guessing whether the command registered. Now let's talk price, because this is where the decision often gets made. The MX Master 3 originally launched at $99, but because it's been around for a while, you can often find it discounted, sometimes as low as $70 or $80, depending on where you shop. The MX Master 4, on the other hand, is brand new and sits at $119.99 retail. You'll also find special editions for Mac in colors like Space Black or Silver, but the price remains about the same. So the question becomes, are the haptics, better sensor, quieter clicks, and improved connectivity worth that extra $40 to $50 over the MX Master 3? For power users, designers, coders, video editors, multitaskers, I'd say yes, the MX Master 4 feels like a meaningful upgrade. But for general office use, emails, spreadsheets, web browsing, honestly, the MX Master 3 is still more than enough. And at its lower price, it's the smarter buy. So here's my bottom line. The MX Master 3 is still one of the best productivity mice out there. It's lighter, has that grippy texture, and thanks to discounts, it's a killer value in 2025. The MX Master 4 is the most advanced version yet. The haptic panel, actions ring, higher DPI sensor, and quieter clicks make it feel like a genuine next step for serious productivity. If you already own an MX Master 3 and you're happy with it, you don't need to upgrade. It's still excellent. But if you're buying your first MX Master or you want the latest features and don't mind paying a bit more, the MX Master 4 is hands down the way to go. Either way, you're getting one of the best productivity mice in the world. It just depends on how much those extra features matter to your workflow. So what do you think? Is the MX Master 4's haptic panel a game changer or is the MX Master 3 still the best bang for your buck? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear what you'd choose. If this breakdown helped you out, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.